If you're into the law of attraction and the manifesting conversations, then I really want to share with you a little secret that many people forget to talk about when it comes to actually achieving and manifesting what we want. And that little secret can also help you with your New Year's resolutions. Because a lot of people are reaching out to me and they're telling me, how am I not going to fail this year with my New Year's resolutions, Lita? And so that's why I decided to do this video and share with you the little secret why your New Year's resolutions fail and what to do instead. So let's get to it. and welcome back to my channel the whole wellness method youtube channel i am so glad you're here and if you're new to my channel i'm lita sportel i'm a licensed psychotherapist and a functional health coach and today i'm excited to have this conversation because i feel that this conversation will really help you unlock your potential for manifesting and experiencing the new year's resolutions that you actually want to manifest and like I said in the beginning, this little secret is something that many people just forget to talk about or don't even know about. So let's get right into it. And before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel? If you haven't done so, this is the time to do it. And give me a thumbs up and hit the bell button to get notified every time I post a new video. So one of the main blocks that's keeping you from manifesting and that's keeping you from having the New Year's resolutions that you set in the beginning of the year is the wishy-washiness. <laughs> is there a word like that? I don't know. But as a Greek girl, I do make my own words. And I hope you're okay with that. So, wishy-washiness. This is when we're really sending incoherent messages to the universe. The universe is listening. The universe is waiting for us to decide what we want. The universe is waiting for us to set an intention. The universe is waiting for us to feel that intention. The universe is waiting for us to believe in our intention. The universe is waiting for us to commit and devote ourselves to our intention. What happens when we're wishy-washy? Meaning, what happens when one day I'm like, yeah, I'm all for this. I'm really going to go for my goals. I'm really going to go for this new business that I want to have. I'm really going to go for this new thing that I want to experience. And then I start second-guessing myself. And then I start being like, you know what? This can't really happen. You know what? This has never happened before. You know what? None of my family members has had this before. Why should I? You know what? That's crazy. You know what? You're crazy. All this self-talk that the ego self really talks to us this way makes us really get distracted from our goal. We end up feeling very uncertain of our goals and the believability in that we can actually have what we desire completely fades away. This wishy-washiness that I'm talking about is something that I've experienced for so many years, especially with my health. I've had a very long journey with a lot of chronic illness, even cancer and different things that I talk about in different videos. And as much as I would set these New Year's resolutions and goals throughout the year that I want to experience health, I want to have a healthy, strong body, and all these different things. Every time I would get a new symptom, every time I wouldn't feel good, I'd be like, you know what? This is not working. Universe, God, you know what? I have this goal, but it's just not working. No matter how hard I try, no matter all the supplements I take, no matter all the things I do, no matter the thousands of dollars that I've spent, it's just not working. So that's wishy-washiness because I was waiting for the outcome. I was waiting for the result to come to prove to me that I should believe in the result. If you understand what I'm saying, it's like I want to see it so that I can believe it. But that's the ego talking. The higher self already sees it even though it hasn't materialized in physical form. So the secret in order for your New Year's resolutions and any goals that you set throughout the year, any time during the year that you set this goal, the secret so that these goals don't fail is to eliminate this wishy-washiness, is to really not listen to the ego, is to really tune down that volume of the ego and turn up the volume of your higher self, is to really see out there what you have within you already, what you believe in you to be the case, what you desire within you to have experienced on the outside, to stay focused on that, even if on the outside you don't have that thing. So for example, when it comes to money, and wanting to have more money in your life. 
you might be going about it as, well, these things that will bring me more money are not happening. They're not falling into place. So then you end up feeling within you that this just doesn't work. This whole manifesting, it doesn't work. Law of attraction doesn't work. Well, the problem is you have betrayed yourself first. You have betrayed your intention first. You need to stay loyal to your intention. You need to stay loyal to your higher self, even if on the outside you have no proof, zero proof that this works. This is the only way this is going to work. Dr. Joe Dispenza, who is one of the mentors that I have followed for many years and has played a big part in me moving here to the US, says that when we tap into the quantum field where infinite possibilities exist, where we can have all the abundance and all the health and all the love and the peace and whatever it is that we desire in this lifetime, we need to enter the quantum field, he says, without our ego. That means I can't enter the infinite possibilities with my ego being wishy-washy. Wishy-washiness cannot enter the quantum field, in other words. We have to be committed, devoted, organized thinking, focused, no matter what's going on around us. Because remember, the quantum field is beyond time and space. It only exists in the present moment. So when you tap into that and you see, this is what I want to experience, then you need to keep repeating this. You need to keep repeating this intention. You need to keep repeating this process. That's why specific meditations, affirmations, emotional freedom technique, journaling, and different things that I use inside my programs can help with this organized thinking, with this repetition, with this focused attention. Because as we know, where attention goes, energy flows. So it's very important that you notice where is your attention going. Are you even aware of where your attention is going every day? Are you scattered? Are your thoughts all over the place? Or are you staying focused on what you want to experience? So if you want to become a really powerful manifester and you want to tap into the quantum field with me, and like I've been helping my clients for over a decade now to manifest and to experience the life that they desire, then come and join me inside the free masterclass, Break Free in 2022. In this free masterclass, you're going to learn all the things you need to get unstuck and to actually manifest. What I shared in this video is just one piece of a whole big puzzle that you need to have put together in order to experience your desired life. And I don't mean this general thing, oh, my desired life. I really mean it. And I really mean it specifically in specific ways in your life. So remember to kiss wishy-washy is goodbye. Say to the ego, you're not going to listen to it. Tap into the quantum field and stay focused with organized thinking so you can manifest and experience what you want. And hopefully I'll see you inside the free masterclass. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments how you enjoyed this. And I will see you next time, leaving you in whole wellness. Bye-bye.